Welcome to this Excel tutorial. We'll explore two methods to split data in a long column into multiple columns. We'll start by utilizing a formula based on the index and columns functions, followed by a VBA code approach. Let's dive into each method. Let's begin with the first method, where we'll employ a formula based on the index and columns functions to split our data into multiple columns. This formula dynamically arranges the data across columns, making it a versatile and efficient solution. In C1 enter the formula, equals index, dollar $A, dollar $A, rows, dollar one dollar a one plus columns dollar one dollar a one minus one asterisk four in this formula four is the row number you want to split data into the new range you can change to other value you like click enter verify that value in a one is listed in c1 drag the fill handle to row four and then across to other columns like d e f you can see that data is split to four rows properly Now, let's explore the second method, which involves using VBA code to split our data into multiple columns. This approach provides greater flexibility and automation, making it ideal for handling larger datasets and complex splitting scenarios. On Current Visible Worksheet, right-click on Sheet Name tab to load Sheet Management menu. Select View Code, Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window pops up. In the VBA editor, go to the Insert, Menu and select, Module, to create a new module. Copy the provided VBA code for splitting data into multiple columns. Paste the code into the newly created module in the VBA editor. Close the VBA editor. Go to the, Developer, tab, if not visible, enable it in Excel settings, click on, Macros, and run the macro you just created. Split Data dialog pops up. Select input range, such as, A1, A16. Click OK. In this step you can select the long list range you want to do split. Enter 4 into, Enter row number. Click OK. In this step you can enter the row number per your demands. On split data dialog, enter select output range D1. Click OK. Please be aware that you can select only one single cell is OK. In this case, we select D1 as output range, then split data will be listed in column D started from D1. As we entered row number as 4 in last step, so only D1 to D4 will save the split data, then left data will be listed in E column into 4 rows. If you found this tutorial helpful in learning how to efficiently split data in a long column into multiple columns in Excel, incorporating both formula-based and VBA code methods, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful Excel tips and tricks. Your support motivates us to create more helpful content. Thanks for watching.